Have you been looking for a way to run your shack off of batteries and eliminate that digital buzz you get from those LED lights? I got something for you in this video. Be sure and stay till the end. I have a special announcement and please hit like and subscribe. Well, guess what I got for Christmas? My beautiful wife got me some solar panels, a couple of 100 watt solar panels. And uh, so I was gonna put them up on the roof there and the whole idea was to uh, use them to uh, supplement our power when there was a power outage because here where we live in Eastern Texas, uh, during thunderstorms and stuff, there uh, kind of is a, uh, a tendency for us to lose power. So uh, we wanna keep our fridge going, things like that, maybe even an air conditioner. So I was gonna use them for that. And then it occurred to me, I got enough uh, stuff here, I could run the whole shack off of this stuff here. And I'm starting to think, hmm, let's see what all it would take to be able to put this together and run the shack off of solar panels. Well, obviously, the first thing you're going to need is solar panels. Now, you can get solar panels in all kinds of places right now. Amazon, hardware stores, uh, big box stores, everywhere do use all kinds of solar panels, so uh, they're available. And uh, then you need to figure out how much you're going to need to generate the amount of power that you're going to need to run your shack. But first, you got to have somewhere to store the electricity that those shiny new panels produce. That'd be batteries. These batteries are small. I don't think they'll power the whole thing, but uh, we'll have to check and see. But there are several different kinds of batteries you can use. The new kind of battery that you can charge, this is called a power station. Um, has a flashlight, red light. Um, has two places where you can put uh, um, cigarette lighter type plugs right there and there uh, for power. You also can do, there's two USB uh, outlets right here where you can charge anything that you need to charge USB. Um, also, here's your input for an electric if you want to plug it into the wall to recharge it. Um, and there's a fuse, a breaker, and uh, if you want to charge it with solar panels, there's two connectors right here. I don't know how well you can see them. Two connectors right here. You can charge it with solar panels. Now, this particular one is very small, uh, very low power, uh, and uh, it was for a specific purpose. It, it went with a machine that I had. Actually, it was for a telescope. And uh, so uh, I don't still have the telescope, but I still have that thing. But these come in all shapes and sizes and all powers. I mean, you can get one of those. Of course, it's much bigger, but you can get one of those that will run your house. So um, you can charge those with solar panels. It'll certainly run your shack, too. Uh, so you use your solar panels to charge those. Or you can charge the kind that I showed earlier. You can just charge regular batteries. It'll even charge like uh, one of the batteries that I have right now for uh, emergency is a, it's a boat battery. Uh, I bought a boat battery. It's a deep cycle battery, you know. And so there's, so there's that. And you can charge just about any kind of rechargeable battery with them. So uh, you've got your solar panels now. You've got your batteries. You need something to go in between the solar panels, and the batteries. And that would be this little gadget right here. It's called a charge controller. You see, uh, it goes between your panels and your batteries. The panel's wired in on one side, the battery's on the other. It makes sure your batteries are getting a full charge from the panels as long as you have full sun. It also makes sure your batteries don't overcharge. It cuts everything off when the battery is full. I interrupt this video now with a special news flash. Here is an old J47 telegraph key. Got this on eBay a while back. It's kind of dirty and messy. You can see. Have a look at it there. Sounds good. Doesn't that sound good? Anyway, it's, it needs cleaning up, which I'm going to do. I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to polish it up. And then I'm going to give it to one of you. That's right. I'm going to give it to one of you. We're going to do it on Valentine's Day. Um, I think during the live. I'm not sure during the live right yet, but uh, we'll decide. And I'll give you all the details on it real soon. But please uh, stay tuned because we're going to give away this uh, very nice uh, telegraph key. And you'll be able to send Morse code with it very fast. And uh, it'll be a lot of fun. The next and last component that you're going to need is what's called a power inverter. What it does, it takes 12 volt power from uh, the batteries and it turns it into regular 110 volt electricity. So if you need to plug in say some lights or a computer or even a hair dryer, if you have enough wattage you know, from your batteries to supply that much power. So uh, this is where you get your DC power turned into AC power. So how much is all that gonna cost you? 
Well, we got two panels, 100 watts. And with that came the controller. That uh, came as a package deal and some wire to connect that up. So those things I found on sale uh, online was $139. Then the, uh, the inverter. You need an inverter. That was $99 online. Okay. Uh, the panels also came with a connection kit. In other words, a kit to kind of uh, to build them up to put them to mount a mounting kit. That's what I'm trying to say. It's a mounting kit. So there was a mounting kit with those. So all else you're going to need is some wire, probably some extra wire. Let's say another, oh, let's say 41 bucks. That'll make this come out even. <laughs> okay. All right. So we've got, uh, we've got 140 plus 140. Plus, so about $300. So from 250 to 350, I'm guessing you can get a nice set and you can power your shack up with that. But wait, you say, you forgot batteries. No, I didn't forget the batteries. I just uh, didn't put them in there because that's going to be kind of a funky price. It's going to be a, a, a little bit to a whole lot, depending on how much power you're going to need to power up uh, what you need powered in your shack. So uh, let's talk about that for just a minute. In my shack, all I want powered is my radio and probably the antenna tuner. I don't intend to power the lights and the computer and everything else in the world on the solar power in there, but uh, I would like to get my radio and my tuner, you know, off that same circuit that has the buzzing LED lights in it. So I left the batteries out of the thing I did there at the chalkboard. Another battery will cost you anywhere from 65 to uh, up to a thousand, but realistically, $65 up to about three or four hundred dollars, depending on what you want to do. Um, the smaller batteries, like the ones that I showed in my video here. Uh, will probably run my radio for quite a while, so they're they're going to be fine for me. But if you need more power than that, you're going to need a bigger battery with more amp hours. So that will be you know more expensive. But the other thing you want to consider is whether you want to use batteries or you want to use one of these power stations because they charge just like a battery does. But they have already built in the inverter and the charge controller, so you don't have to worry about buying those things or any wire to hook them all up with because it's all in one thing, all all in one piece. And they're portable. You can charge them up and then pick them up and carry them wherever you want them. So, uh, you know, if that's a consideration, uh, that's, you know, that's worth looking into for sure. It's certainly more convenient, but it is a little more expensive. It's not a whole lot more expensive, but it is more expensive to do it that way. Uh, if I had it to do over again, I probably would do it that way. I probably would use the power stations instead of buying all the components because it would just make it easier because I do intend to you know, need the power in more than one place. So the portable portability of the power stations would work great for me. In the next piece, we're going to uh, look at how to put it all together, how to use it, and uh, it'll be a lot of fun and uh, hopefully be helpful to you. So uh, please uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Don't forget on February 14th, we're going to give away a new a key for somebody to use. And uh, we appreciate you viewing. And uh, we'll see you next time.